Oh ho ho, it is time! So guys, it seems like the Egyptian dragon event has been confirmed as real. And we can see this from the DML page posting this two hours ago. And you can clearly see that there is like a, a huge Egyptian statuette. Obviously, we have hieroglyphics and stuff. They've got little beetles. It is definitely an Egyptian-themed event. We don't have any confirmation that this is necessarily a divine event. But I, I'm going to say we're like 99% going to be getting a Divine Egyptian event. And in their description of this picture, they said, It's time to prepare for a new adventure, Dragon Lords. What do these scribbled pages of Hogwin's journal tell us? Guess in the comments. And I think it's really important to focus on the fact they said a new adventure. So... That's basically kind of how they worded it with the past Divine events as well. So, you know, for anyone that was still skeptical, you know, it's like 99.9% .9 chance that we are getting a Divine Egyptian-themed event. And so the main question is, what dragons are we actually going to be getting from this event? And the answer is, I have no idea. And uh, even if I did, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Oh, I love that as a response. Look, bear with me. I'm still very ill. I'm forced to make this video despite how sickly I am currently. So, you know, deal with me being like half asleep and half dead. But either way, I am very, very happy to see this confirmation. And, you know, we do have the new event coming on the 9th. So they're probably going to be doing this like little teaser stuff for like a couple of weeks before it comes out. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's because I haven't restarted my PC, or maybe they broke it, but I literally can't tab out of DML anymore. You know how if you went to the top right, you could close it using the... Yeah, I can't do that. So, um, now that I've opened the game, we are literally stuck in DML forever. We are stuck in perpetual DML hell. Well, I guess it depends. If you If you could just sit here and play the game forever, I guess it wouldn't be that bad, but... I mean, after like an hour, you've got nothing else to do, so I, I don't know. But either way, let's go ahead and try and rebreed for the Struggle of the Month. Boom! <sighs> Nine hours. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. But we do now have a fully upgraded Archangel in terms of his actual attacks, which is fantastic. So the only thing that we have left to do with our Archangel is actually level him up. So, I have like 22 million food at the moment, and that gets us like 8 level ups. More like 7, but still. You know, it doesn't get you a hell of a lot of... Uh, a long way up, actually. 22 million might seem like a lot, but it's actually like nothing. So, um, you know, we'll keep trying our best to level him up as best we can. But... I'm not holding out too much hope. And we do have Kronos available, so... What you should do if you ever have Kronos available, I'd suggest putting in the 6 hour food like this, making sure you collect everything. If you're gonna put a dragon in the academy, do so. Um... Whatever, we'll put him in, doesn't matter. And then we'll collect from our ruin as well. Just in case we uh, need to put another one in. You could just give me the shard instead. That would make me very happy. Shard, shard, shard. God damn. So close yet so far. Either way, we'll pop these three back in. That's a 12 hour time. And you know, surprisingly enough, I found all of the other shards yesterday. Apart from that one. So we've almost got level 5 Kronos already. I'm actually amazed. It was such good luck yesterday. <laughs> it's insanity. Oh, and just before you ask, yes, I am aware that the Liberty Dragon is now the Dragon of the Week in DML. And you know, I've already kind of been through the breeding combo. It is the B plus Geiger Dragons, but you know, I'm sick. I, I want to do it later today, maybe if I feel a little bit better. So, you know, hang on for that. I, I did already go through it, but you know, people still want the breeding guides anyway. Because everyone likes to bully me. It's like, no, you have to do it. It's like, why? 
I've already given you the combination and shown you the possible outcomes, and they're like, do it again! I'm like, okay, calm down. I'll do it when I can. But either way, he will be available in another two and a half days. We will collect him out of there. We'll collect all of this juicy food. Oh, that feels delicious. And that is like literally the only thing that we got out of doing that. So now we'll pop in our hour long food and go and collect that soon. In the boss challenge, I did finish the first round and got the Dragon Fury Essence. But that is like as far as we're going to go. So, you know, the boss challenge, as per usual, lasts a really long time. But, eh. Even if you're not trying to seriously complete it, you at least get gems and random rewards in the middle. So it's really, really not that bad at the end of the day. I just like to complain far too much. So there we go, we got some food for doing that. What clan stuff do we have? I should have been doing these without other quests, but... I don't care enough. Um, I'm gonna refresh that, and I'm gonna refresh that one. So then later, when I actually bother with the event, we can go ahead and do those. Oh, and just in case you are interested, there is currently a promotion deal out for the Touchdown Dragon. You know, one of the cheap bundles, four pounds, you get him, scrolls, a little bit of gold, but you do get a pretty cool looking epic dragon out of it, just for about four pounds. So that is English pounds. That will be more in Australian dollars, US dollars, and a lot of other currencies. So, you know, go and check him out in the shop if you do want him. But it's up to you. You do what you want. It's your life. I, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Especially when I could easily get beaten up right now. It's like, when, when you're in a position of weakness, definitely don't go out of your way to force people to do things. Because it will end in failure. Like, when I sound like a dying grandmother, I, I don't feel like I should be the one going, Yeah, I'm gonna beat you up, bruv. You know, I don't think that's gonna bode well. To be completely honest. But alas, you know, we got plenty of these blue map fights to do in both heroic mode and regular mode. I just want... I don't even want to sleep. I was going to say, I'm ill, so you know how you're meant to sleep a lot when you're sick? You know, it seems like a, a tempting thing, right? Yeah, well it would be, except last night I had like, basically night terrors. Like, I just kept having the same dream that someone was breaking into my home. It felt so realistic, it was horrendous. It's the worst. So I don't even want to sleep right now. But you know what they say, sleep is for the week anyway. So, you know, who needs sleep? Psh. You do? Ha! Weakling! What's wrong with you? Yeah, and like I said, don't even ask. I don't know where my brain's at. My brain has been buried overnight. I literally don't even know what I want to do because I'm too hot. I'm ill. Um, I'm in a bad mood. Literally, the only thing positive that's happened so far today is the fact that we've gotten that divine confirmation. And apart from that, I don't even know. I remember during the middle of the night as well, or at like 3am, the bird was screaming. He was like screaming good morning. And I could hear it from upstairs. I think that was like the only little bit of solace I got in between everything. But can you imagine getting woken up at 3am from your parrot screaming in your, like... Not even in your ear, because he's all the way downstairs, but I still wake up to it. Like, what the heck is that about? Pets. Sometimes they just get on your nerves. It's like when cats get up on your bed and just sort of, like, smother you to death, basically. It's kind of like that. Except, you know, my parrot is not lovable, and he hates people, and hates all interaction. But, I think you get what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> Voice, do not break, please. <sighs> Why does this guy have a level 77 cheerleader dragon? Just why? Unless they have a ton of other level 80s, I just don't see the point in them having a cheerleader dragon that high of a level. Like, the dragon doesn't even have any arms. Why would you do that? 
Because you've got to think, if you're a creature that doesn't have arms, you've got to make up for it in some other sense, right? Like, have the hugest mouth and teeth out of anything in existence, or, I don't know, maybe you don't even need to use your hands. But I, I can't see that being a benefit to the cheerleader or dragons with that body type. You know, we got a battle chest, that's all I really care about. What are you going to give me today? Yay, we got some fire. Fantastic. Thank you, game. So, how much can we enchant Joko? Like, not at all. That's fine. There you go. We can have one extraordinary material. Woo! We're going places, guys. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. If you didn't notice, when I'm ill, I also get a lot more sarcastic than usual. I apologize in advance for that, but I can't stop it. But 40! We need 40 of these stupid materials to upgrade him to level 4! Joko, you are causing me a lot of heartache right now. Oh, can we actually enchant Ander as well? Um, he's actually a higher level than Reptar now. You know what? Fine, we'll go ahead and enchant him to level 2. And now, at this point, we actually need to start collecting some legendary for Andor as well. So, we'll do that whenever. It'll be a lot quicker to enchant Andor than it will to enchant Joko. So, you'll probably see him at level f level 80 fully enchanted before we see our divine. Ugh. Make it easier, please, I beg. It's just so annoying. But anyway, guys, for now, like I said, I was going to show you the picture of the divine stuff again, but I can't because I can't tab out. So that's great, but you know, let me know what you think, let me know what dragons you think we're going to end up seeing. Do you think it will be the same as the Greek and um, the Chinese event? you think it's going to be any different? Let me know, send me some strepsils and cough sweets please. And for now, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you then.